Oh, my. Wow. Jerry Jones had possibly his second worst day in all the time that he's owned the Dallas Cowboys. I could maybe make an argument that he had his worst day since he's owned the Dallas Cowboys. There is a problem, a real problem, with the general manager of your Dallas Cowboys. I didn't say the owner. I said the general manager of your Dallas Cowboys. He is old. He is out of touch. So he thinks you're supposed to be a face-painting fan. He doesn't get it or chooses not to get it that you know very well what he does or supposed to be doing, what the junior manager does well or doesn't do well. You would know that whether the name was Jerry Jones or not. But he doesn't get it. He doesn't like to get it. And he's having a really, really bad day and what I think is going to turn into a really bad week, which is going to turn into several bad weeks. If his head is splitting open now, I can't imagine what happens when when his team, on his watch, gets their ass handed to him a few more times. Because he's off to a bad start. So he thinks you, the fan... Certainly, he's making it obvious he thinks you, the media, are not supposed to be challenging him, the general manager. He acts as if, where are you coming from with this stuff? What are you talking about? Why would you even bring this stuff up? He's either choosing to be this ignorant or he really is that out of touch. He can't imagine that you've noticed, hey, buddy, we know how the business works. You go acquire players, and you manage the payroll of the players, and the coach's job is to point the players in the right direction. We kind of get that now, old man. He is not having a good day, and he looks worse than ever, and that's saying a lot. That's not a hot take. I think I'm now in safe territory saying he looks worse than ever. Okay, Uh, if... (laughs) It's the Dallas Cowboys a week after. Here we are a few days after they get drilled by Detroit. Um, It's their fourth straight home loss. You know these numbers, but I just want to emphasize them because I think there needs to be some perspective here. Dallas wasn't even competitive. You know that. They have not been competitive in four straight home losses. Uh, The Cowboys have been outscored, I think it's 110 to 35, in the first half of their last four home games. What's also in play, very much in play, is the knowledge and awareness that you have, that media has, that anybody that's just following the game even slightly more than casually. It's the knowledge that you have that Dallas has done very little to make their team any better. What has happened, you know this, the general manager did really only two things, and he just paid two of the best offensive players on his team who were already on the team, and that is Dak Prescott and CeeDee Lamb. He did that. That's two of the three best offensive players. Um, By fantasy standards, by your knowledge of how the game works and what general managers do, using that measurement, Jerry Jones has blown it. And it's pretty obvious he's blown it, and it's pointed out time and time again he's blown it. It was pointed out you've blown it, general manager, even before you got your ass kicked this past weekend, even before you get your ass kicked again a few more weekends. You just didn't do a very good job. The public now knows it. It's not 25 years ago when you had no idea who put teams together. You do now. Him. So... He doesn't understand where you're, or or he pretends to not understand where you're coming from. He did nothing this offseason, and people know it. He's not made his team any better. His team is getting worse, and everyone knows it. So he's coming apart. He's coming apart faster than I thought. Um, The coach in Dallas isn't flipping out. The quarterback is not throwing people under the bus. The players themselves have handled their butt kicking and their demise about as well as you could publicly, and that is get your head down, get in your lane, and shut your face. That's all you can do. And they've done that. The two most uh, important people within the franchise, the quarterback and the coach, have said nothing. They're not pointing fingers. They're not fighting. 
They just put their head down and go away. But the team's owner and general manager is losing his mind and he's acting like a jackass. And that's the understatement. When Jerry Jones, Jerry Jones, the narcissist, okay, when he pulled off what he did with Jimmy Johnson at that time, you go way back in time, okay, this is when he first became almost a household name because it was such a circus. But when he went through, the Jones narcissist went through the whole issue with Jimmy Johnson and basically his ego was offended for whatever reason. And, you know, the two of them got into it and he ran the guy out the door and the guy said, okay, blank off, old man, I'll go elsewhere. He, he was backed up and had cover because they were winning. I mean, the, the public, yeah, the public was critical for good reason, but the, but the public didn't pile on because he didn't need to pile on because everything was working. They were winning. They were winning. And so there was cover there. You could accept that he was a narcissist. You could accept that he just didn't really know what he was doing because there was cover there. They're winning enough. And winning sort of uh, glosses over everything. So he didn't have that cover, obviously now, at all. Now he is exposed as incompetent. He's been exposed as incompetent. And it's been, it's been pointed out countless times now that he's incompetent. He's had an incompetent offseason. He's had his worst moment as owner of the Cowboys, I think, now. Um, And I think it might get worse. It's even worse, in my opinion, than his ridiculous public fight with Jimmy Johnson. So I'll say this about Jerry Jones at this point, because I I actually think this might get a little worse. and It's going to get dumb. It's going to get dumber. Right now, it's just outrageous. He's been he's been exposed as incompetent. He is an overexposed and incapable jackass who can't check himself he's overexposed but he doesn't know what to do with it and he now has has to has to own it that he is a full-on jackass okay he goes on one of his many shows uh this is now talk radio fodder all around the country it's every sports network it's every meme it's every tweet it's all over the place so he goes on one of his many shows and you need to understand this and i and i here's some perspective he looks at this show that he's on as a gift to the hosts i know how people who think they're in power like to operate they think you can be edgy and you can have hot takes until those hot takes and edginess start to offend them or step on their toes. And then they want to assert their influence and say, you're lucky I gave you this. That's where he's coming from. That's his attitude. That is his perspective. How dare you people challenge me? I gave you this show. I gave you me. I'm the star. You punks would do nothing without me. I'm the star and I gave it to you. That's where he's coming from. That's the mindset where he's coming at this where he's saying, I've had enough. How dare you criticize me? I gave you this show. Um, Now, I don't think that's really true, but partly it is that, uh, yeah, they probably have the rights and he wants to secure those rights. And a lot of people, when he's, you know, sometimes they want to listen to him. Most of the times he's a rambling, old, drooling fool. But his attitude is, I gave you this show. Um, There's only one place you can point a finger at their problems right now, to be honest. Not even the head coach, not the quarterback, certainly. The only place you can point a finger, and everybody's doing it, has been doing it, is at a Jerry Jones, the general manager. He's losing his mind now. He is. Um, What I don't know what he looks like at the end of the next five to six weeks, and they really take a few beatings. His quarterback may be a professional enough and focused enough to keep their head above water. I'm not convinced they completely fall apart, but the owner has, and the general manager certainly has. Um, more losses are coming, and I can't imagine if he's angry and narcissistic now, pile on a few more losses and imagine what he sounds like. Here he goes today. Um, remember that mindset. How dare you challenge me? Jerry, I think the counter back when you said where are you going to get the players you can't get them this week is, and you, you're aware of, of all the off-season topics. You, yeah, but what is your counter? What is your damn counter? My counter I is... I really want to know where you would go, go get it. Now, don't tell me about 
should have gotten a guy in the off season. Why not? This isn't a damn word argument just because I'm not arguing with you. I'm dealing with how we line up against San Francisco, not what I did wrong last week or last month or two months ago or two years ago. If I really gave you guys a list of all the things I've done wrong over the last few years, uh, you couldn't be on this program for the next five years steady and go over it. But every now and then you do some right things, and at the end of the day you add it up, and the rights give you a better spot than the wrongs. But if you think for any minute right now, there'll be one Super Bowl champion. What do the others do wrong? There's one Super Bowl champion. Now, we want to be that champion. And I'm sure not throwing the towel in today because of what happened out there Sunday. But I'm not going to sit here and waste a lot of energy, a lot of time. Uh, let's talk about what I should have done back in 1907 or 19, <laughs> 2017. <laughs> Come on. Come on. I've got more time than that, and I actually don't even have time on this great show for looking back at decisions. Okay. So, Jerry, 1970, a little different from this past off season in building the team we're talking about today, which there was a lot of criticism that you guys didn't add, didn't spend, and don't add, and don't spend, or, and are not aggressive enough with some of the problems that are still haunting the Cowboys today that we see play it on the field. That That's the point of talking oh, about the offseason. Oh, oh, I remember those criticisms very well. Okay, so what? Or are they playing out so to what? be accurate? What's your, what's your point? What's your point? My, my point is, it seems <laughs> like... Point? my Listen, po- let me tell you what I'll do. Let me tell you what I'll do about it. Uh, I will uh, uh, let us sit down and look at the decisions we've made over the last several years. Okay, I'll look at it. Now, if you think I'm interested on a on a damn phone call with you over a radio, and sitting here and throwing all the good out with the dishwater, you have got to be smoking something over there this morning. <laughs> I'm not. And I really don't, and I don't even want our listeners to listen to me, uh, to talk about this is not your job. Your job isn't to let me go over all the reasons that I did something, and I'm sorry that I did it. That's not your job. Well, my it's, job is to so ask why. Job, or I'll get another. I'll get somebody else to ask these questions, man. Uh, <laughs> Jerry, we're just we're we're we're, we're trying to figure out why the no, team no, is. I'm not. I'm not kidding. You. I'm not kidding you. You're not going to figure out it's uh, what the team is doing right or wrong. If you are, uh, or any five or ten like you, you need to come to this meeting I'm going to today. There are 32 teams here. You're geniuses. Okay, um, you overexpose. Here was the comeback. Um, you overexpose, pompous, out of touch, get off my lawn, jackass. Yeah, that is the job, you doofus. Yes. What's your job, old man? <laughs> What's your job? What does the general manager do, whether the name is Jones or not? What does the general manager do? Tell us. Don't ask about my job is the response. Don't ask about my job. I'm doing my job. What's yours? And tell everyone right now how you're doing it well. Go. Talk. My gosh. Uh, I think he threatened the guy with his job. And for all I know, he can maybe take it away. I I don't know how it works there. Um, But that is, just for anyone listening and watching, I mean, that, that, that is an absurd jackass move. That I don't know how. I couldn't hold back. I wouldn't hold back. Now, you do tell people what you do. You do make an argument you've made the right decisions. They think you made the wrong decisions. Take 60 seconds and tell everybody listening right now how you've made the right decisions. Go. Go. Wow. That was an angry, narcissistic,